they say that you enter the trade without a stop loss, mm. so I'm not gonna pay one step. One oh, step yeah. is the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Accelerated. Accelerated. Yes, yeah. one step. Yeah. yeah. Uh, must say, I was tricked as well. Just be careful with that. Is the <coughs> trailing stop loss. Mm. Yeah, you see these people. <laughs> you see what they're doing. And look. What's up guys, it's Nobile somebody from Top Trader South Africa and we bring you guys another episode of Industry Chats Podcast and you know over here we sit down with all the industry players and you guys are industry players, we're industry players, we sit down with industry players, experts on this podcast today and I'm not sitting alone, I'm always here with my amazing co-host. MJ Givens Khasi. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, great. No, we're here guys, we bring you guys another episode but before we go too far actually guys, uh, we are celebrating... 70,000 subscribers today. <laughs> we are within, guys, and we just want to say a big thank you, a big shout out to everyone who's just been a part of the journey. Uh, now we can say road to 100k, actually. Yeah. The road to 100k. And for that, guys, if you comment down below and just say road to 100k, uh, next week we'll give away a hoodie. Uh, and uh, an Opta FX hoodie to one lucky viewer. Just just be like in the comment section, road to 100k, and we'll be giving out a, a hoodie from one of us, not one of our sponsors, from our sponsor, actually. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, guys, we're not sitting alone today. Uh, you are no stranger to the channel. Uh, you you were actually on the first season of Market Masters, like when it actually launched, you were part of that. Uh, we are sitting down with Lee today. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no, shout out. Um, yeah, no, thank you so much for coming out. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I remember you called, you hit me up, and you're like, no, I got some stuff I got to say. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm excited for that. I'm so excited for that. Um, yeah, uh, how's everyone doing? We're good. Yeah. We're good. We're good. You good? It's good, eh? You're good. It's good. Yeah, I'm good. Just explain this a little bit. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, good. Yeah, how's everyone's week been? Uh, it's, uh, it's been the, the, cold, the, man. Cold. Yeah, the weather. Yeah, yeah the weather's one been... One hot. You see, yeah. I see what's happening there in Cape Town. Are those real? The flooding. Yeah. yeah. No, it's real. real. No, it is. Yeah. It, it is. is. Yeah. Yeah. It is. We had the wind. Yeah. They had the wind and the water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's great. I, I'm glad you guys are doing good. Did you guys have an amazing... Did you guys have a good week? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. It's always exciting. Yeah. There's new memes in South Africa, so <laughs> obviously <laughs> we had to see something. But I'm glad that we're not alone. Um, yeah. yeah, again, we've got a CEO here. <laughs> <laughs> we've got Kobuto there. Yeah, we've actually got a crowd today. Actually, got a crowd today. Last week it was very quiet. So it was just like you yeah. know, just a few core of us. But now I know today we've got our ghost in the building. Hi guys. Hey, uh, come again, Pinda Food. Hi guys! Yeah, let them hear you. You know, they actually think that this is uh, Kyra. Kyra, that's that's Ky interesting. Kyra, yeah. is that you? Might be. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I know Lee is not going. Is not rolling one man today. You're not by yourself today. Yeah, yeah. I brought someone very special. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think she deserves some of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's not not rolling alone. Uh, yeah, it's got someone special in the building today. But uh, obviously. That's it. That's all they need to know. Someone special. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. <laughs> yeah just keep it the way it is. Yeah, it no problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've also got Jay in the building and we've also got Hoputo in the building as well. Yeah, and I think, yeah, that's the team today, guys. That's the team today. Like we always say, we we do invite people. Uh, not invite. It's not an open invitation, but harder. Don't be scared. We can yeah. open the doors for you to come join us in our small space over here. Yeah. But... Hi guys, this is Mugnet Sambat. This is MJ Givens Khasi from Top, Top Trader South, South Africa. Africa. And we've partnered with OctaFX. OctaFX is a reliable and transparent broker providing online trading services worldwide since 2011. We have partnered with OctaFX understanding the role and the importance of traders platform. We made sure to partner with the broker that understands that. 
OctoFX offers no commissions, no swaps, and no hidden fees, so you can focus less on the stresses and more on your trading. OctoFX offers quick withdrawals and deposits. Furthermore, with advanced fund security, your funds will be saved with OctoFX. If you are looking to learn how to trade, look no further because OctoFX offers free comprehensive education to learn. Click on the link in the description. Trading made clear with OctaFX. Trading made clear with OctaFX. Let's, let's, let's keep it moving forward and yep. talk about what we're here to talk about. But before we actually get into that, Lee, uh, a lot of people uh, I know right now, it's been a couple of years. Actually, was, was it just yeah, after COVID? Yeah, I think it's been about a year or two. After but, yeah, that was oh. last week when we did everything. No, um, it wasn't last year. It was year before no, last year. No, it was year. like yeah. was it after at COVID. Least two years. It was after COVID, right? I think so. Yeah, when we shot the first uh, yeah, episode. Was, uh, yeah, with Market Masters yeah, and everything. Mark, yeah, and Jay uh, was yes. a shot with Jay as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I saw him come back as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, the, he's the AI guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, so, yeah, they actually know each other. Because uh, I did an interview with uh, Lee and Triple J. Oh yeah, yeah for yeah. for one episode. Yeah, for Same market. Yeah, no, for market masters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First season we did of market masters. Is it? Yeah, back then I think twenty. I actually don't remember when it was. Yeah. It was a while back. It was a while back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, that's great. Oh, thank you so much for coming out. Can you just introduce yourself to people? Just let people know who Lee is. You know, just give us a bit of background, a bit of introduction, and then I think we'll get into the, today's hot topics. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay, so so everyone knows me as Lee, yeah. and uh, well, my former birds business partner was with Jay, who yeah. has also been on the show. So um, we're still very good mates. Yeah. Throughout the years, we met through basically trading. And yeah. We decided to start up um, a company that can help people. To, to be more successful and profitable in its ways. And yeah, I guess, you know, when you get older, life just carries you away. Yeah. And Jay yeah. and I just ventured into different um, directions, but we're still very close. And for myself, you know, I've been trading since then and I've been actually trading since the prop firm started to, started to introduce themselves. I think the earliest one that was very popular was FTMO. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Sure. And then obviously they're still standing still and all that. Um so since then, you know, just been grinding, trying to be profitable with these firms mm. instead of using own capital. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then in the meantime, yeah, I've just been lo very low profile. Mm. So I've just been very close to my chartered students. And we just kept it like a little little family. Yeah. Yeah. So so recently I was like, you know what, I think I think let's talk about this topic because yeah, it's yeah. coming coming into SA, like I told you. Yeah, uh, heavy. firms are coming. Yeah. Heavy, heavily so, heavily so. So wait, you say you basically saying that you were within prop firms when you actually when they were actually starting to advertise. Yeah, yeah. When yeah. was this? Yeah, that was at least four years now. Four. Hey, about four four years now. Hey, we, okay. we, the rest of us only caught on to prop firms last year. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah. um, in the beginning, uh, I was also very skeptical. Yep. You know, I know there was brokers, for example, that mm. you need to put in money to withdraw your funds. Yeah. So prop firms in the beginning also felt the same way. You know, you need to be, you need to pay in money to sort of get the account or whatever <coughs> account fees. Sure. There was a, a area, a like gray area where you don't know if they're actually going to pay you out. Mm. Yeah. So in the beginning, it was not very like consistently with people giving positive reviews. It was just... A gamble for you. Yeah, you sure. You better hope the guy yeah. pays you afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So your first, your first challenge. Let's talk about that before the hype. Actually, let's talk about mm. the first challenge that you did. Actually, with FTMO. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, transitioning from a retail point of view, where you're trading with your personal funds, you know, you can obviously leverage a little bit more than just a very fixed risk management. So, you know. Going straight into the, my first challenge, it was rough, you know, because having the idea of only having 10% gets, gets to your head. Yeah. You know, like I can't risk 2% out of my 100% equity. So obviously, yeah. I will tell you this, first three, I failed. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Learned my lesson, yeah. hard, hard lessons. Yeah. Um, but, but you really learn, it's a very good learning curve. It really teaches you that sometimes, you know, you, you need to preserve your capital and basically build onto it. Mm. Yeah, I know definitely you guys probably, you guys speak the same language because yeah. I know he, MJ is also a funded trader as well. Nice. And he's very much deep within like, I want to actually discuss that, uh, you know, in as much as it's so good to have, uh, how can I put this, uh, funded programs, 
But I think, what is the psychology behind switching from uh, trading your own personal funds to trading a funded program? So I just want to hear your thoughts on both of that as to what challenges you guys find found yourselves uh, coming towards or facing, you know, and knowing that, hey, I'm switching from personal funds. Now I'm like definitely going into, you know, what funded program, yeah. I think it also goes back to your own personal trading plan. Okay. Now you have to adjust what what they bring for you. I mean, they've got their own blueprint and they're Mm. like, okay, this is what you have to follow. And you find that from a retail perspective, you only had your own rules, your own plan. And obviously now you have to now integrate the two, you know, of which at times it becomes difficult Mm. because you have a style of trading. You know how you normally do things. And Mm. now you come to a point where you have to accommodate, um, so-called funders your bosses in other words Mm -hmm. yeah so i think i think it goes a long way but i think if if you have a structure you know exactly what you want to achieve with that it becomes easy you know yeah so yeah no no no, i i agree with him like look like uh I, i would i would describe it would be um you know being funded and going through their their objectives like you said yeah really gives you a different perspective of discipline because on your, on your own ca- um, capital and all that, you have 100% access. Mm-hmm. And to be fair, the, ca- the, the funded accounts only give you 10%. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, sure. you're very, very limited <coughs> yeah. to what yeah. you can do. Um, or if we just see it as, you know, your own personal account has 100 losses available for you. Mm. You yeah. only have 10 with, <laughs> exactly. with, with yeah. our firms. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, because I know there's so many guys right now, everyone's just jumping ship, trying to move. Because like, like I already said, like I said in last week's episode, and, and I think it's known to a lot of people is that uh, in South Africa, we, we, we're underfunded as a country, you know. Mm. Well, but because of that, now a lot of people are like jumping over to funded programs. But it's like people are just jumping blindly, you know. No, 100%. And it's just like, yo, guys, can we relax a bit? Can we take it a bit <laughs> easy? You know what? Because you say, I, I really want people to to come here and hear from you guys as well, you know, and be able to be like, actually, I've been doing this funded program along with hence I, I touched so much on the psychology of it, of like, because I know, I remember, um, I remember there was some guy who DM'd me, uh, we've been talking on the DMs there, he literally said that nothing is working for him, and I, and I told him about funded programs, because I'm like, hey, look, if you can't find funding, you know, if you don't have enough funds, and enough capital, go, go, go buy a fund, go buy a challenge, you mm. know, and do that. But, you know, it came back to me afterwards, like, hey, it's failing now. It's everything is going wrong. So, you know, what would you say to someone like that who's struggling to get into the funded program or into the challenges, doing challenges? Well, look, um, <clears throat> from experience, I know FTM has a 14 day free trial um, that really gives before you even put money in, opportunity to see what is actually what it's really about. And the important thing is that the risk management needs to be pretty precise. There's and there's like daily losses and you know, you only have ten percent access to the capital. So with them with someone going in the first time it gets tough where you see your perfect setup but you wanna go a little bit more than one up to three percent mm-hmm. because you you you're used to how you're trading on your personal account. So I think give it a try first, the free trials. Mm. Or even even um, run a demo. You yeah, know, link yeah. it to a link it to a. Um, what, what's the, what's the website that we have these days? Which one, uh, is it um, my FX book? Yes. yes. Yeah, you, yeah. You get a graph. You exactly. Get everything, the potential exactly. graph before you put money in. But obviously, <coughs> we in our country people are very very hungry for money. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> it. So yeah, <laughs> they want to get straight in. Yeah. yeah. I agree hundred percent. I mean, look at it this way: we we we've all got the access. The information is out there of what they're looking for. I mean, FTMO, you go online and you buy a challenge. If you want to buy a challenge, they tell you this is one, two, three that we expect from you. Mm. I mean, if you open a demo account, a test account, and then you take all of that, and you're like, okay, if 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 they if I want to buy a challenge of five thousand, why don't you open a test account of five thousand? Mm. Link it with my FX book. Yeah. Go through what they're looking for, and test it. Yeah, yeah. See if it work. It works. Don't don't buy it. You you know the problem is you know South Africans they want to arrive before they depart. <laughs> the arrival <laughs> point is always there before yeah. departure. You yeah. know. So I think yeah, it goes also back maybe to how. But I don't think I don't. I think the whole world is struggling from the same thing. It's just okay. that we know how to advertise our problems. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, I think I think a lot of people are going through the same thing. No, I'll I'll comment there. Um, yeah. I've actually heard somewhere South African. Yeah. As us, we are the best <laughs> advertisers <laughs> of this industry. Exactly. That is facts. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We really know how to sell. We know how to sell. Yeah. And uh, we know how to utilize the use of social media. <laughs> yeah. You understand? Yeah. There are a lot of people that are going through. I mean, look at it this way. We, we always say that Africa is a, is, is a beautiful continent. Yeah. But the negativity that always comes with this uh, nation. And you mm -hmm. find that some of the things we're struggling with here, mm -hmm. other countries are also struggling with them. Yeah. Oh, but they will never put it there. <laughs> we find memes, we, <laughs> you know. Every time there's something, we'll make a meme out of it. And yeah. obviously, if, if it comes in the form of a meme, it's going to explode. Yeah. It's going to trend. Yeah. Yeah, so I, th I think it's a, just a human, you know, Thingy that we all struggle from. Oh, South African it, thing. Oh, human. Oh, human yeah, nature. Human, human nature. Yeah, I get but what we you're advertise saying. it well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's great. Yeah. So going back to prop firms. So you basically started out uh, with your first challenge, your second mm. challenge. So you said you failed your first three. Yeah, I'm gonna be straight honest. I've, I did fail first three, and yeah. then you know, once you fail a few, it's like losing your own money. So <laughs> um, you start to doubt your skills. But, but the thing is, you know, if you just push through and follow your model, eventually, um, being giving yourself patience, you will mm. maybe on your third, fourth, okay. you, you will get your funded contract. Yeah. And uh, look, I've done I've done a whole stats because we did. Um, I had a partner who we planned to maybe open a firm. Mm. So I had to do a bunch of research and everything for him. So I got those stats in my head. If you want to listen to those, yeah, no, we, we <laughs> definitely going to get into those stats. I like stats. Yeah, I like numbers. I was sitting. Eh, I can't say ish. I can't. No, <laughs> I was having a conversation with someone actually, yeah. and he was literally stating as to. Uh, he was he was also going down to stats as well as mm. to how people by the end of the week, the the funded challenges are just not gonna. It's, it's not going to happen for quite a lot of people mm. who bought challenges, you know. And I think that's... Why do you think that is? Though I know I'll probably I'll ask this... I always ask this question, but like, why do you think it is that so many people are failing at challenges? Um, in my experience, um, previously, before the most recent events, previously, the time limit. The time limit. That was a big thing. You know, like, when you... When you it depends how, how you trade, obviously. Like, if you're someone who waits to swing... Yeah. You know, and, and, it, and it takes more than 20 days to get yeah. maybe 10% mm -hmm. and you take a loss mm -hmm. and you're waiting for those swing points, you, you're going to start running out of time. And once you run out of time, you start to do like <laughs> ridiculous risks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but recently, um, there's no, they, took the, they took away the time limits. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's like a big, big advantage we yeah. have as a trader. Give us more time. Really, really take the time. Yeah. And just do what you do best. But South Africans don't want time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> the thing. That's the thing. Yeah. They just want a day. Just give them one day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they'll be fine with it. And I, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually like, I would, I was saying to MJ, it's like, it's what a lot of people are doing nowadays. Yeah. It's like everyone wants to see how fast can you pass the challenge. Mm. And then you say it's a skill. <laughs> you say it's a skill. We are not saying it's not possible. Yeah, it's possible, but we're talking about sustainability. Yes, 100%. I mean flipping accounts on daily basis, mm. it doesn't guarantee you sustainability. Not at, all. at the end of the day, you you might as well go to Betway. Yeah. Go to the casino. Mm. Go to the casino. That's that's the environment for you to do that. Your, your odds are probably better over there, actually. At the yeah, casino. exactly. Because yeah. the risk reward is one is to one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're actually talking about that. You know, it's just like now people are chasing to pass. Ch guys, please stop trying to pass a challenge in one day. Have a plan. If your plan says you're supposed to pass a challenge in one day, then do it. Yeah. For real. Like yeah. go ahead and do it. But if your if your plan says, hey, uh, 0.5% on a day, mm. don't go try pass it in one day. Like it just does it makes no there's no skill there. Like it's just showing as to how you still need to develop as a person, as a human being. You still need to go do do like your own personal developments as well because mm. it's clearly you can't follow rules you can't even follow the own rules that you set for yourselves mm. so that guys yeah just a piece of advice from me yeah i want to get into i want to get into those stats 
<laughs> we'll start on here some I like numbers. Yeah. MJ, where's our calculator? Uh, the industry chance calculator. Uh, Jay, where's, where's our calculator? <laughs> it's nah, not chance. It's, it's all in his head. It's all in his head. Yeah? His brain is uh, <laughs> fast <laughs> calculator. Yeah, so let's, let's get some numbers going. Yeah. I like numbers. Who doesn't like numbers? Former <laughs> <laughs> <a> president. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, look, let's go with, for example, the, the, the pass rates, you know, okay. like. Um, the pass rate of phase one, phase two, and then you get obviously get your your, your funded phase. Yeah. And a lot of firms are still sticking to you need to trade your funded account for thirty days mm-hmm. until we refund you plus give you your payout. Okay. Well, other firms obviously depend. Yeah. They give you from day one or mm-hmm. however they choose. So, phase one, you know, a lot of people can. There's about a forty percent pass rate, forty six percent. This is from MFF when yeah. they were still active. Sure. Okay. Um, about a 46% pass rate. And this decreases on phase two. Yeah. And because of the fact that um, people get too excited. Mm. Uh, you know, even if your days got, went from 30 to 60 and your objective went into half, mm. they want it now. Yeah. Exactly. And then the third one is the, 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 funded, the funded account. People don't last till the payday. Mm. Now mm. you're funded. Now, the one big trade, you know, like if you flip, like if you flip your account, like you said, one hundred thousand USD. I mean, if you flip it one hundred percent, in a week, yeah. you got one point five million. Yeah, sure, <laughs> sure. I mean, um, so if traders don't make it to the to the next uh, payday, of which is three days, yeah, and then yeah. lose their refund. Mm. Which, oh. as a business model, the, the the firms are winning. Yeah, because they're playing with your emotions. Mm. So the so the percentage actually decreases at the, like from phase one, how many people pass. How many people pass phase two it decreases to about thirty percent, and going even more, people actually don't make it to the first thirty days mm. of that twenty percent or thirty percent, or like maybe like ten percent actually make it to the first thirty day of a payout, yeah. and then lose the account. Yeah, so that's that's some stats there. But you know, if you look at the numbers in terms of the prop firm perspective, mm-hmm. yeah. The, the the firms are winning either way. That 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 model yeah. is a win win. Yeah, you know, sure. if, you, if you get a trader who passes, he grows your equity. Okay, well, depending yeah. if it's legitimate or yeah. not. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I wanted to go there. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what MFF. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to say not to MFF. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, you grow the equity as a professional trader, mm-hmm. or if you lose, they're making money off your registration fee anyway. Okay. Yeah. So obviously their their money is obviously mostly on the failing. Yeah. Um, mm. The failing aspect, mm. which is why. We had get payout certificates you know, to get yeah. people excited. Um, hey, there's a leaderboard. I mean, yeah. I'm sure you've seen the leaderboard. Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, sure. I mean, bro, like, when often did you see our flag on there? Uh, we don't our flag never on there. <laughs> <laughs> Unless if it's edited. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're good at that. We're good at that. Yeah. Yeah. No, but it's all about the leaderboard now. You can't edit that. Or can you? No, you can't. You can. No, maybe like Photoshop. Like, yeah, if you post, it, exactly. Yeah. If you want to post it on your, your, your social media, <laughs> yeah, you number can. One, number one in essay. <laughs> hey, number one in essay, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but when you go to the actual site, you don't even appear in the, the first 1,000. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah well, like the leaderboard, it, 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 if you're someone who's competitive, okay. mm. your emotions all over the place, you know, it pushes you to like, I want to be like that. I want to get 100%. 102 percent return in two weeks yeah. yeah and then you're pushing your boundaries and oops there goes your accounts mm. yeah mm. prop firms have all these advertising and all these techniques to make you fail yeah yeah because yeah. hey let's be honest if you had a funded account and you lose it and you get one payout you want to go back if you fail mm. it if that account busts i mean mm. you're like i've had a taste of that payout and yeah. it's real let me go back you got that hit mm. of the dopamine yeah i mean effect. like it's that dopamine effect yeah right? sure, yeah. Sure, like, sure yeah no yeah yeah so then like it's just part of the business like even with the MFF situation like you know it is what it is that that's <laughs> I don't know if you remember funding talent yeah. um, funding talent was yeah. exactly like MFF yeah, sure. except they just been pff, disappeared yeah they mm. actually did mm. haven't, haven't seen them I, I, yeah, I remember um, so I started three challenges on a copy trade mm-hmm. to do at the same time with funding talent oh, and then, oh, you know when you wake up <laughs> you're like sorry uh, we, 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 we're closing <laughs> and then it's like okay can I have my refund and then it was a mission to get your refund and okay. you know that, that's hard earned money did, yeah. you even, did, you, did, did you eventually get the refund yeah so um, from their support you know they obviously don't try to cooperate but mm. what you do is uh, if you really really want to you can always just use your card and then ask the, your your bank to please Oh. back for me oh, yeah. because okay. it's, it's almost like a term where the service is not delivered yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so at least that helped us oh okay no at least and and that oh you have a question yeah come in come in 
Okay, so you're speaking a lot about the high failure rates with challenges. What do people need to do to win? So, like, what are things they need to it's a, it's a good fix? Question. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, in a, in, a, in a broad mind, where regardless of which prop firm, if a prop firm fails, if you have three million in funding with MFF, now it's gone. But let's see, uh, as in you know, a baker. Everyone knows a baker, a bakery. Yeah, yeah. So a baker has a cookie cutter. Right. As long as the baker has dough, the cookie cutter will always cut cookies and he's always going to make money. So that that also refers to the traders um, like signature setups or their style. Their style is the cookie cutter. As long as you have capital and the skill, you are going to constantly produce money consistently. Mm. But if you're going to you're going to sit back and every time when something fails, you want to tweak the cookie cutter. Mm. Even the baker, if it's a star cookie cutter, and now you don't like it, you saw someone else, you want to move the shape a bit, that star is going to start to deform and it's not going to produce any more stars for you. Yeah. Mm. So if we stick to, basically, stick to your model, stick to what you have trained to do, for the people that um, are looking for newer firms and that, that happen to fail already, mm. just stick to what you've, you've done it once and it worked. Mm. Stick to the model, don't go looking for... Yeah. The easy way in. Yeah. And for the people who are starting, also try to adjust. The, big, the biggest thing is the risk management. People trying to pass in a day, in a, oh. in a day or two. Mm. But now just consider the time limit you have. You have a lot of time. Mm. I mean, we all know traders make better, better returns than banks. But uh, uh, if we think about it, <coughs> banks um, give you about a very little percentage. Yeah. I know for a fact that some banks give you um a hundred percent return in five years mm, mm. which is 25 percent a year yeah sure yeah and the prop firm is asking you can i just have 10 percent a month yeah mm. and but if in your head if you think about it 10 percent a month including january and december for holidays we got 10 months mm. yeah you've made a lot of yeah yeah, growth, you know 100%. I mean? mm. yeah so so but also even if you are failing at the challenge that doesn't make you a bad trader sure mm. because you're managing very little capital if you're making just three to five percent a month from that ten percent you have access to, mm. it's still very, very good. Yeah. Mm. Right. And if you do lose ten percent, yeah, they they obviously need to catch you with the objectives. Mm. But if it's your own account, mm -hmm. you just lost ten percent of your hundred percent account. Yeah. You still got ninety trades to go. Yeah. And if your risk management is good, I mean that's easy to go back. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah. I like the baking example. Yeah, yeah, does it normally good. bake for you? <laughs> <laughs> From today. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. You're in trouble. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. No, that's yeah. interesting. You know, um, I think I think we undermine um, we undermine our industry. Mm -hmm. I think that's one of the problems we have as traders. We just think it's just one of those industries where we can make money. You know, um, let's talk about BlackRock, for example, mm -hmm. biggest asset management firm in the whole world. They managing um, their assets are about nine trillion dollars. Sure. That was that was 2022, 2023. And if you if you would turn BlackRock into an economy, into an, a country, the economy would be around nine trillion. So they will basically be the third biggest economy in the world mm. after China. <laughs> South Africa is not even near. You understand what I mean? Yeah. So you can imagine those type of people when they place trades, how yeah. much we are affected. Because mm -hmm. everyone is just talking about market manipulation. Mm -hmm. And just, they just think it's just a button. They say, guys, they, 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 we have a breakout now. Nah, let's screw <laughs> them. You understand? Yeah. Obviously, their decision making is going to affect us some way, somehow. Because mm. they've got the liquidity, they've got money. Mm. And you're only trading 1,000 rands. And you're competing with somebody like that. So I think it goes back to we need to understand. I mean, BlackRock is so huge uh, that South Africa is nowhere near. We, we, our economy is around 40 billion, 400 billion or something, something like that, okay. right? Nine trillion. And Japan is number four with four, four trillion dollars. So you can imagine how big that company is. Mm. And these are people, this, this is an asset management firm. So obviously, these, these are big money machines. They, they, they affect us some way, somehow. Mm. So I, I got I to gotta agree with you to say failing a challenge doesn't make you a bad trader at all because the industry is big on its own. It's just one of those things that, okay, you fail. They, they lose money as well. Mm. With, with the trillions that they're managing, they also lose money. 
they also have to face regulations. Obviously, they big. They know how to screw them here and there, but everyone faces in this industry. Mm. But the problem is, we think that we've got the, the power, the capability to win it all, and I think that's where we get it wrong. And yeah. every time somebody loses a trade, they want to change the style. <laughs> yeah. I'm no longer a scalper now because this thing is not working. <laughs> so Swing trading. Cutter, cookie cutter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So the, the industry is huge. It's, it's, it's big. Because mm. everyone just knows we're moving off one, five point something trillion in, in, in forex, mm. but you gotta think what happens behind closed doors. Yeah, and these are companies that we're competing against. Well, if you take the the sums that you mentioned, just yeah. think about it um, for the people that's struggling with firms. Uh, instead of trying to flip it a hundred percent, you know, let's go with a hundred thousand USD funding accounts. Right, mm. you make about ten percent, which is ten thousand USD. Sure. Mm. That's about 150,000 that's rand. Good, that, that's, yeah, good that's good money. good money. That's good money that right is, uh, there. That's very you, good money. That's what, good money. What more, what more do you guys <laughs> want? Yeah. <laughs> and like, yeah. if you want to just, let's go lower, 5%. That's yeah. 75 grand. Like, yeah. that is what top top paid salary. In yeah, SA. And exactly. You can, you can do that one, two trades a month, depending on your style. But like, so yeah, so exactly like what you said, like, no one, no one like BlackRock is not going out there to say, I'm going to flip my company yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in three days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no, it gets crazy. Yeah, listen to uh, so Ghost, what would you do with 75k a month? No, mind you, you don't have a degree, you, 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 you all you have is a matric certificate and a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what did you do 75 a month? Like, like practically speaking, now. Um, I think I'd obviously live comfortably with a good 30,000 okay. and the rest I'd, you know, spit it into different investment accounts. Yeah. Yeah. Why can't our traders do that? Like, th th that's mm. actually quite simple, you yeah. know, like, why can't we do that? Why, why, what's holding us back from? I think we just, uh, if we can be more patient with ourselves, mm. I think that'll help a lot. And I know getting rich overnight it's possible. I mean, yeah, yeah. some yeah. people get it right. Yeah, no, no I know. Yeah, I, seen I, them. I know a few. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, uh, no, no, I also know a few. <laughs> but if you're on the <laughs> other side of the blade, I mean, yeah. it's, it's going to cut you quite hard. Yeah. yeah. So just yeah, just stick to your model. Yeah. And trust in yourself. Mm. This is uh, this Wait. business is what I used to call, um, well, I still call it, it's, it's yeah. you versus you incorporate. Yeah. It's, it's you against you always, 100%. Mm. Yeah. You know, you, you spoke about the excitement uh, between, you know, and the challenges right now. Because, uh, so, okay, so, guys, now I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm not a funded challenge. Uh, I'm not a funded trader yet, but I'm coming next year making a public announcement. Anyway, <laughs> 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 no, but uh, what, what I'm trying to get at right now is that, Okay, so you're going to find that there's a first challenge. Uh, the, uh, what are they called? First challenge, second challenge? Yeah, it's like a phase. Phase, mm. first phase. phase, second phase. So predominantly a lot of prop firms are working on that model, correct? Mm. So you spoke of something that was so important right now, saying between the first phase and the second phase, mm. that excitement right there kills yes. a lot of traders. Yes. Mm. Yeah, like how, how can... Because you... <clears throat> You're still trading a test account, though. It's, it should still be the same. Mm. Like, but what changes, though? Like, what really changes between that first challenge and the second, uh, uh, the first phase and the second phase? Um, it's almost you're running a race. Okay. You know, in the beginning, you want to pace yourself. You want to run. But once you see that flag at the end, don't mm. you feel like sometimes I just want to push a little bit more. I want to get a little bit quicker. Yeah. yeah. And getting a little bit quicker pushes you out of the mindset of, you know, I'm going to risk. Just a little bit more, mm. and then it goes wrong, mm. and then you're upset. Yeah, I'm now further away. So what now? Nah, I'm gonna risk another one. <laughs> 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 then, um, then it just—it's like you're digging your own hole, mm. um, bigger and bigger, which is further and further away from the yeah. objective. Yeah. Um, that is correct. There are one phase, two phase, and yeah. the third phase is obviously the funded account. Yeah. The the recent thing as well is um, one step. One oh step yeah, is a thing now. The well. accelerated, accelerated ones. Yes, yeah. one yeah. step, yeah. yeah. Uh, must say, I was tricked as well. Just be careful with that is the <coughs> trailing stop loss. Mm. I was completely like, okay. unaware of what that means. Yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. No, can you just elaborate that basically for everyone? Yeah, yeah no, so, 100%. Yeah. Um, so the general prop firms, please look, you know, sometimes you get the, the max drawdown off the account, 10%, 8%, etc. cetera. Or these days, 6%. Uh, that is max drawdown. Um, then you get trailing uh, stop loss, um, stop outs. So what is is that if you are, let's say, going with a hundred thousand rand um, account, and you get a profit of three percent, now 
it is that 3% minus 3% equals 6%, going with a 6% drawdown. Yeah. So they count your value account based on your highest point of your account in growth. So yeah, I I thought you know like in, in normal me, normal days, guys. Y- y'all <laughs> forgive me today. That went over my head. I did not understand. <laughs> no, I, no, 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 I, I, I need a bit of a simpler explanation, not just for my not just yeah. for my sake, but like for the people's sake as mm. well. I was admitting today, guys. I no, that went over my head. Yeah. So can you just? I know I need a simpler explanation of understanding no, sure, that. Sure. Okay. So so let's go with um, easier number. Let's go with hundred hundred USD. Yeah. Or yeah. rand. Okay. Um, trading stop loss. Um, let's go with the count is make ten percent. The normal maximum drawdown daily is five. Maximum is ten uh, percent. Mm-hmm. Great. So obviously you add your initial balance hundred rand. You can go up to ten. You can go down. Yeah. Your minimum is minus ten. Yeah. Then okay. you're out. Yeah, trailing is different because if you start your account and you start going into profit, which happened to me, I was plus five yeah. percent. Then, so what happens is that from that five percent, yeah, minus ten percent oh. equals you can only go five percent below initial balance. Sure. Instead of ten percent oh, below okay. initial balance. I got it. It's so just like a trading it, stop. They yeah. Count, yeah. <laughs> the higher you go. <laughs> Your, your risk also goes a bit yeah. higher. Yeah, so, yeah. so yeah. That, that completely, um, like, I was, yeah. I was, I've never experienced it. So, <laughs> yeah, that was an accident. So, obviously, yeah. I lost, obviously, the, the four or five percent. Yeah. And then I went just a little bit below. Okay. The maximum drawdown was six percent. Yeah. So, from five percent going down, one percent is about six percent. Yeah. And oh. they're like, you violated. So, I was like, what do you mean? Like, I have negative six percent still available. Yeah, exactly. 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 That yeah. tricked me. Yeah. So, when you're applying for accounts, just check. Maximum yeah. drawdown or trailing maximum drawdown. Yeah, mm. sure. People that normally do accelerated programs, they no, just need quick cash. Eh? Most no, but, of them. But people want accelerated programs now. It's why they're advertising it. They wouldn't be advertising it if it wasn't bringing in money for the prop yeah. firm. The yeah. only thing about those is um, the profit, profit split is a yeah. little bit small. Yeah, it's oh, small. Yeah. It is oh, small. Okay. Way too small. Yeah. I think it's about, is, isn't it 50-50? Or 50 50 yeah, or 60 40. Yeah, some of the okay. even 25%. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean Gee, we just yeah. gave you money now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, no, I, I do understand the prop firm essentially is taking risk. Yeah. A lot of risk, <coughs> trusting exactly. just uh, someone they don't know what kind of trading style they have. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Let's go let, let's go to the let's go to the to the to the dark side of, of prop firm trading. Uh you you did say uh earlier on. A lot of um, how can I put this? A lot of prop firms are coming to South Africa, are advertising in South Africa mm. and whatnot. What are some of the things that you know you have actually noticed uh, as time has just gone by since you since you were there at the beginning? I wouldn't say the beginning, beginning, but you understand what mm-hmm. I mean by that. You know, since you've been there, just since the inception of prop firms in South Africa, and then just moving forward, how has the whole scale of the industry changed? Um, with them coming into SA has definitely put up some competition in my opinion against yeah. our brokers Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean uh, our clients are moving away instead of putting their deposits into brokerages they're just going to go buy a, um, a challenge Yeah, mm-hmm. but like on the bright side you know it's good for, for the people of South Africa because mm-hmm. we will get a, the opportunity to you know use capital we don't have mm-hmm. simply by showing your skill Mm. But at the same time, it's also like if you're not controlling your emotions, you could get overwhelmed, and you wanna you wanna take all savings account and buy three hundred thousand USD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, and then, then it blows, and then you just you hate that industry. Mm. So so the firms coming to SA, you know, it's definitely definitely new, and with what happened to MFF, there's never an assurity of which company is legit. Mm. Mm. There's always a risk. I know. I know. Since MFF, people have been asking. Listen, like, can you recommend like which yeah. one is, um, mm. which one's the legit and all that? It's 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 really it's always a 50-50 because the business model is yeah. is that that's the model, <laughs> you know. Mm. Depending, the only problem, in my opinion, I would say MFF um, really didn't do well on their side would be they used their own brokerage. And that was yeah. a B book broker. Yeah, yeah, sure. And that's where they got in trouble. Mm. And some firms, um, from what I hear from people overseas, my my trading mates overseas, they would say, you know, the safest one at the moment, 
not recommending. Um, just some filtering. <laughs> <laughs> uh, filtering, you know, try stay out of the, I know the popular one are in USA, Canada, and UK. Sure. But those governments are very strict with yes. the mm. F- F- mm. Uh, CFTC mm. and yeah. SEC and all that. So yeah. if you stay away from those, you have a, I'm not saying you're completely risk free, <laughs> yeah, you have yeah. like a, a little bit less risk. <laughs> yeah. sure. So there's some firms in Dubai. Mm-hmm. Well, FTMO is still top there, but you saw the price. I mean, they yeah. charge you yeah. double. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, to give you legitimacy. Um, mm. They're in um, Europe, so yeah. they're out of reach from America, basically. Mm. So I'm hope I'm, I'm just hoping that with the firms coming to SA, it doesn't mm. give a ne- negative impact that hurts us yeah. Yeah. with all these firms that won't pay. Mm. I mean, even if our, our small traders who are applying for 5,000 USD, which is like 800 rand, I think. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you if they lose an account or if they pass their account mm-hmm. and they fund it and then the company doesn't want to pay them out, I mean, that that, that still hurts. Yeah, yeah sure. That, that's really hard in cash. I mean, yeah, not yeah. everyone can yeah. afford yeah, it once. That's true. What um, do you think of FTMO though? FTMO, uh, they have been very stable. Yeah. So I have heard people, how do I say? Not, it's not facts. I've heard people say. So FTMO is a little bit different compared to other firms because some people feel FTMO is is basically the government approved them mm, in, okay. in some sort of way. Okay. So there's no, I, I can't describe correctly here, but yeah. mm. but uh, the government basically allows them to do it, which means, and out of reach of America, Canada, UK. Mm. Yeah, sure. No one can touch them. And uh, the model is always the same. Mm-hmm. Every, every pop firm model is the same. And they're just advertising, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, they don't do discount codes ever. Yeah. M- maybe like one time, like 10%. Yeah, yeah, sure. Year. yeah, sure. But they never, because they are proud of how strong and sustainable they are. Mm. So I think FTMO, personally, I'm, I'm still with them. Yeah. Um, you do get a sense of security. You know, they have been staying the longest. Mm. But, but again, I don't think you should put all your eggs in one basket. I mean, you can do, you can do a few with different pop firms. And if they crash, they crash. And yeah. then if you have a cookie cutter, just go to a different one. Yeah. <laughs> it's the yeah. exact yeah. same process. It's yeah. dough all over yeah. the place. Yeah. There's yeah. dough everywhere in this sure. industry. Mm. I mean, it's a $7 trillion uh, trade daily. So, mm. like, come on, guys. There's more than enough money for everyone. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. most of it is taken away from us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, what, what what's what's basically like your trading style right now when you're approaching a um, fund a fund fund program? Yeah. Mm. Let, let me stay okay. There no, for no, hundred I'm gonna. There is. I got. I got a few. Mm-hmm. But the ones that I recommend my chartered students and it's been working would be that it's quite simple. Let's go. Let's go with the a coin based rule. You have a coin. You get two sides. It's fifty fifty. You're always gonna land on one, right? Okay. So you have ten trades, which is ten percent. And if you have um, a risk base of one to two risk reward, risking one, gaining two, you can flip the coin at a 50% strike rate and you'll still be positive 5%. Mm. Mm. Right. Mm. So that works in terms of your managing your risk. And even if, even if you're losing, I'm still net profit plus five mm, sure. with the 50% rate. Mm. And then every, every person is different. Maybe you got a 6% rate. That's even more. And if you're trailing on stop loss and all that, you can get a full run and then you get mm. more than plus 2%. Mm. So that's what I recommend. Very well structured risk. The one to two for me, it, it works. You know, like you're not greeting too much. Sometimes mm. uh, I know we get misled by people who are getting one to 25 risk reward. It's, it's quite <laughs> rough. I mean, that, that yeah. three pub stop loss gets rough with a, yeah. with a tough broker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But, but yeah, keep it real. Mm-hmm. Um, it's about... It's just about being consistent. Yeah. Mm. Keep on doing, show up every day, keep on doing. If you don't have a trade, it's okay. You know, yeah, the, sure. The, the week is still long. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, not okay. yeah. it's not okay for people out here to not have a trade. Yeah, <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. People need to have a trade every single minute. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. With you, with you. Very interesting. That's what I, I want to for risk. For risk. Mm. Okay, no, yeah. I understand. So you basically you're running a you're, oh you have you say you have like a close knit yeah I have I have my chartered members um, yeah so so as you guys you guys did see so I only post um, my, my on my Instagram with chart work mm. so all of my students how I filter out just keep um, how do I say filter out students who are serious mm. and filter out students who are 
asking me for a cheat code. So I don't offer a signal service. I advise you every day. I'm not, I'm not legally a uh, you know, yeah. financial advisor. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, sure, 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 sure. Um, I give uh, insights of the market every day mm -hmm. because we speak the same same style. Mm -hmm. okay. And that way we can assist each other. Mm -hmm. So my objective is always, I want you to be the most profitable trader on your own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this can be your extra additional income. Yeah. So, yeah. so all my students are direct contact to me. And, you know, I've had, um, I've had students who, who, as you guys know, some, some parents don't support mm -hmm. you know, this career. It's a, it's a very rough one, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, I've had students who tell me the stories and, you know, you, you get touched. Like, you know, mm. they really want to do this. They believe and all that. Then I tell them, you know what, I will give you, I will sponsor you to do, like, you don't need to pay me the course. It's fine. Mm. What do you call it? It's like a scholarship. I'll give you the scholarship to teach you. Yeah. And, and in return, just show me your results and you don't need to pay me a cent. Mm. So all my students are such as those or yeah. they contact me directly saying, I like your specific style mm. and I want to do it just like that. Yeah. That filters out people who come to me and from a different style and want to just try 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 everything out here. Yeah. Um, that helps a lot because we all know it uh, doesn't matter if you're retail, institutional, mm. whatever style you call it, everyone makes money because that's how the wheel spins. Yeah, sure, yeah. sure. I mean, yeah. you can be a retail, you're just buying off the end of the institution or mm. in the opposite direction. Yeah. So not criticizing ever um, your style, like I, I can go talk to your retail trader, but the mindset and approach could be different, mm. but he's still making money. Mm. And it doesn't matter. Like in this industry, if we make money, it yeah. comes up. Yeah. yeah. You you mentioned institutional trading there. Uh, have you ever partake, uh, partaken in institutional trading? Mm. You have. Mm. Uh, what's the difference? Uh, how is that very different to retail trading? Um, all right. So let's go with <clears throat> the free content that's available on YouTube, for example. Yeah. Uh, let's go with just the classics. I'm sure you guys as well gone through this in the beginning of time. <laughs> we uh, First thing we learn, trend lines. Mm. Yeah. Right. So we do trend lines. We do specific, uh, very simple things that we learn off YouTube. Uh, institutional trading will just be reading the other end. Okay. So if you guys, let's say three uh, see a triple top, what if the price spikes the triple, triple top, causes the damage, and then into your direction? So that gives you the retail trader the the, the mindset of you know what I was right, it mm. dropped, but it pinched my triple top a little bit. Mm. For institutional is I saw the damage get done. I saw the retail mindset yeah. that the triple top, the stop loss is there. Institu institutional traders know that this is going to get pierced because the mm. higher the the higher banks will want to take that money mm. and grab it. And once they grab it, once they cause the damage, let's look for opportunities to get in. Mm. So mm. it's 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 more patient. But again, you know, retail traders make money. Institutional traders make money. Definitely. Everyone makes money. Everyone makes, Everyone makes Everyone money. Everyone makes money. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. You know, I always tell people that if before you place a trade, you need to ask yourself this question. What would big machines do mm. if they were in your situation? Mm. Meaning to say, if, if, if you've got a mindset of a retail trader, you know they behave the same. Institutions, they also behave the same. They know where stop losses are. Doesn't mean that they they can see where they are, but they just know that a lot of people they see that as a resistance. They will say price is being hitting. They call it a ceiling. Yeah. We have a ceiling level. Price is being hitting here for quite some time. So, so therefore, there's a probability that the price will 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 will, will jump off or maybe it will bounce back, right? Yeah. But they they already know that mm. before it can even go there. Yeah. And so I like what he's saying that if 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 you can get the mindset of what institution would do. So before you place a trade, what would they do? You understand what I mean? If 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 you see something, they're also seeing something. Mm. Yeah, and it doesn't mean that because people normally think that institutions are out there to attack us. No, they're out there to make money. Yeah. You behave this way, they take advantage of that and they make their money. So you, you also have to take advantage of the fact that you, you will definitely need patience when it comes to, uh, you know, uh, you take the institutional approach when it comes to trading. And I also like the fact that when you ask him a question about his trading style, he never mentioned anything with regards to charts. 
Yeah. It was all money management system. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what a true trader is because That's what it is, Yeah, though. it's just money management. Yeah. We talk about money management if I, if I can save money and I can make more money over time. That's yeah. all what trading is all about. I think we had a conversation with someone Brian at the, this other particular moment and he said, you don't some some traders don't even need charts. You don't need, need to look at a chart. I mean, you can just basically say I'm going to hold a trade maybe for 5 days. And I'll take advantage of them. It, it can work, I'm telling you. <laughs> no, it works. no analysis, no, no strat- analysis, no, no holy grail strategy. Yeah, <laughs> names that because 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 here here in our, in our land, we we name everything. We, we name candlesticks. We name them styles of trading. We name because everybody that normally approaches us, they normally say what what is the name of your strategy yeah. as if you you are forced to name it <laughs> yeah no it gets tough it gets tough yeah, yeah. it does get tough but like like you said you know, it's all about it's not us the the institutions are not hunting our stop loss yeah i mean we just a hundred dollars there yeah, <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> i'm gonna look for lee i want your stop yeah. loss <laughs> <laughs> so um but with the idea of you saying which is correct they just want to make money yeah mm. they will make sure retail traders make money too yeah mm. exactly they, they, they will make sure, sure your setups that you learn on youtube or yeah. the trend lines just the basics will mm. pay you sometime sure. otherwise yeah. how else are you going to come back exactly, <laughs> the, the, exactly. The, the wheels need to roll the <laughs> yeah. whole time yeah yeah 100 percent 100 percent ghost got anything you want to say It's Host, there's nothing to yeah, say. I felt, I felt like something was like... <laughs> 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 yeah, okay. yo. You know, um, okay. So over the years uh, with prop frame tradings, apart from uh, the whole MFF thing, what's mm-hmm. the other craziest thing you've witnessed uh, in, the, in the particularly in the prop frame industry? All right. So, so there, I feel like their hidden motive, mm-hmm. well, they have... Just picture like they have a little room of a team who is mm-hmm. there to make sure or pick um, pick the needle out of the, the haystack, haystack yeah. to make sure you don't get your payout. <laughs> <laughs> they will look for something yeah. that mm. will decline your payout. Sure. Mm. For example, I know that, so for example, IP address. Okay. The IP address tracking, if you're yeah. copying trades yeah. of someone, etc., yeah. that's too common. They will deny your payout because mm. they're going to say, you didn't do this. And you are a copy trader from someone else with the same IP address yeah. or et cetera, like that. Yeah. You know, you never know if it's true. Sometimes people will just say it, but it's sometimes if you're in a big trading group, mm. I mean, if some guy posts a, a signal and he made a hundred people get a payout, that firm is going to try to figure out a way to not pay that hundred people. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. Um, just, just stick to, stick to, stick to what you know. Yeah. Yeah, so the IP address is definitely a thing. So um, that's something that happened to you? No, I've, I've had people oh, yeah. who... Obviously, I read the commentating and yeah, all that okay. stuff. Mm. But a lot of people complain about the IP address okay. and the reason or reasons why firms don't want to pay out. Mm. Mm. Or I know firms who are so crazy that, uh, like for me, sometimes, because I need to switch between MT4s um, mm. in a tab because yeah. I have different accounts. So I will enter trade and then putting this top loss after instead of executing putting everything yeah, in sure, and sure, click because sure. it takes too long I'm just like, I want to enter now because the price is running mm-hmm. I'll put stop loss in after some companies don't want to want that they mm-hmm. say that you enter the trade without a stop loss mm-hmm. so I'm not going to pay you what yeah yeah, yeah. They, they yeah. Do that. yeah, yeah. I've, I've also had an incident like that <laughs> yeah my account was taken away from me they say all, all the time and they basically say all the time this is what yeah. you do you place a trade and you put the stop loss Yeah. And they, what's trading though? Yeah, <sighs> they mean, want you to um to and, enter and, already. <laughs> yeah, you see these people. <laughs> you see what they doing. And look at what no, MT4 they, is offering you. I mean that's No, but do you guys see what they doing? Yeah. The, the the very fact that they saying is that hey, look. Uh you didn't place the trade with the stop loss there. Mm. They already want to know is that before already once the trade is there, they already want to know they're planning out is that mm. hey, like you were just saying, Lee, is that hey, they they trying to find every other reason to not mm. pay you. Mm. Yeah, there's a dark side of this. There's a ah, lot of you dark see, side. Ah, <laughs> guys, how do we trust these people though? Have you ever asked yourself why most of them they don't want to utilize things like um, Trading View, C Trader? Because they know. So, 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 so a lot of them aren't on like it's. They don't want to utilize it. Is it particularly you just straight MT4, MT5? Some they have. Using? Okay. Yeah, but most of them, they don't want to go that route. You know why? Yeah. 
because when you utilize trading view or c trader yeah it's easy to put your stop loss and your entry points and your tp just yeah. before we place a trade okay with mt4 yeah it's a bit tricky it's a yeah, process we, we, we like breaking we like breaking the entry line <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what we like but but with c trader it will allow you to put your stop loss and it will automatically calculate for you oh, the really? percentage. Yes. Oh, I see. Ooh. It will calculate it. Ooh, yeah. So I you see. have your entry price. You're like, I'm going to enter here and I'm risking only maybe 12 points. Yeah. It will automatically calculate for you. 12 points is worth 1%. They don't want to go that route. Yeah. But like, how do you, as a trader now, how yeah. do you actually kind of combat this behavior? Because like, you're right, price is moving, the market is moving, you're not trying to be there like, okay, yeah. nah, it's going to wait for me. Things are moving, even yeah. right now as we're sitting right here, price yeah. is moving. Exactly. You know, how do you essentially find yourself putting yourself in a position of like, now, how do we combat, I'm just smiling at me because <laughs> I, I just said essentially, <laughs> I've said it a few times today, leave me alone, guys. <laughs> no, but like, how do, how, does, how do you as a trader now combat that behavior of a prop firm? If you get what I'm saying, is that like now they're fighting you, now you gotta fight back because you just wanna put your stop loss after you've entered the position. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I speak for you, but like if they don't wanna pay you, they don't wanna pay you. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna, no one's gonna argue with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're gonna send you an email saying, sorry, you violated this rule. Exactly. Bye. <laughs> That's what they do. Maybe utilize magic keys. Have you ever heard of that? Uh, yeah, no, I've seen, I've seen. Magic keys. Yeah, but see, that, that's an expense over there. That's that's it. You that, see, that's an expense over there. Not everyone can afford to to buy uh, that, that that yeah. Crisis always create creativity. Okay. So people saw that we have a crisis here with yeah. MT4, MT5. Uh -huh. Let's make magic keys. Yeah. Where you can simply put your stop loss and just you know it's basically a calculator. Yeah. 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 No, I I've seen it. I've seen yeah. it around though, on yeah. social media there. No, this one, I'm actually hacked by this thing. Do you know? Uh, anyway, apologies, guys. Well, there was a technical difficulty. It was not ESCOM, guys. So, And also, uh, Ghost said, the, uh, she said, dark side. The prop firms are listening to us and they don't want you to hear this. This is something that they don't want you guys to hear at home. Anyway, I'm joking, guys. Anyway, take it away. <laughs> so it seems that the dark side of prop firms are dark. Like, it's very dark. So why would someone decide to join a prop firm? So like, what are the pros? Because the cons seem to be more than the pros. So why would people still, or why would you say people should still go for prop firms? Uh... In my opinion, uh, prop firms, yes, there is a bit of a dark side and there are risks to going to work basically with them. But they definitely offer the opportunity, especially in SA, because of the currency difference, the opportunity to make more than what you actually have. You know, applying for 100,000 USD account costs about six to 8,000 now, depending on per firm. Mm -hmm. And then you have the potential, well, obviously for the refund if you pass, to manage 1.5 million. Mm. You make 10% of 1.5 million, that is 150,000 a month. That is the money that you're never gonna have. Mm. Mm. So so if you look uh, before firms, uh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, you know, you gotta use credit cards and you gotta use money, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta use your own money there. So yeah. that puts you as um, in a spot of risk. Mm. So using these people while they are still around, just I, I would recommend, you know, like just get as much money out as possible. Mm. Put it away so that by the time when everything is done, you you are able to manage your own capital the same way you managed the firms. Same yeah. mindset, everything. Yeah, and I, really. And that's what a lot of people should be doing because mm. now people, in, especially with the, uh, uh, with the whole uh, MFF situation, mm. I think people really need to reevaluate their lives and how you interact with prop firms and take as much money out as possible, as soon as possible, like now, you know. But no, I'm not saying that, guys, go past challenges now. <laughs> what I'm saying is that when you get a payout, just put aside something aside. And mm. and, and, I, and there's, a, there's a YouTube guy I follow. Yeah, he's in the trading business. Um, he trades as well. He trades his own capital, you know. But he was also giving advice the other day, saying to everyone, you know, the, the purpose of a funded uh, a challenge is for you to build your own capital so that mm. you can trade your own capital. 
And I think a lot of people are like now kind of stuck in. It's nice they that side by uh, the challenges, obviously, mm-hmm. having somebody else using somebody else's money. But I think the end goal should essentially to be, hey, I want to trade my own money. But for now, I'm going to keep trading funded challenges until a point where I'm like, okay, I can fund 1.5 million rand myself. Yeah. And trade your own money. And I trust me, guys, that should be the end goal. And not when you have 1.5 million rand total. Oh. <laughs> and then you go into, that's what I'm saying. When I say you've got 1.5 million rand to fund, you know, mm. that should be the goal. Ways to, yeah. Really, that's what people should be chasing. 100%. Yeah. Do you know that South Africa, South African um, firms, trading firms, they're looking for traders? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Traders are scarce. Yeah. A junior trader... It's paid around 45,000 uh, rents per month net. Sure. Junior trader. You don't need to pay anything. You just obviously need a certain certification. Yeah. yeah mm. Then you employed as a trader. Why can't you opt for that? Mm. You know, nine to five is not, it's not, it's not bad, guys, if you, have a, if you have a plan. Yeah. You, you understand? Like you're saying, if you know that I just want to have this savings until I can trade this money, mm. you can apply for a job to be a junior trader mm. if it works for you become a senior trader you get something like 100k net a month yeah yeah and <clears throat> i think a lot of people always shy away from these opportunities uh because a lot of people always hear certification things like that but sometimes if you actually have a good track record of managing an account for six months a year two years and you go to an actual firm in south africa go to jsc there find the firms there exactly. in Sanson, exactly. go there and show them an account that's been traded for a long period of time not an account that you opened yesterday and you flipped and you made <laughs> 10 million rand today no yeah. not, nothing like that and i yeah. promise you guys it could really open up opportunities for you yeah. and even for the company to to take you and be like hey look actually we'll pay for your certification go do one two three there are so many opportunities out there it's just the thing of guys on trading accounts more than six months that's it yeah i know um uh no experience in it myself i do know that if you same idea yeah uh, if you want to obviously venture outwards, I know Darwin X yes. does yes. similar mm. similar situations yeah, sure. where they want to see track record and all yeah. that. Yeah, um, yeah. That's uh, up to you guys. You know? uh, that's a, that's Darwin actually X. the new yeah. uh, the, that that whole model right there. Their mm. model right now. It's actually the what well, I've noticing. So even some brokers actually have kind of incorporated it into their uh, their their whole business model. Mm-hmm. Is that right now they're actually trying to connect an investor with a trader. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah, actually the whole exactly. model, right? They're just connecting investors with traders, because some people want to just inv- put away money. People, not everyone wants to be a trader. Let's be honest. Mm. <laughs> not in South Africa, though. Everyone wants to trade <laughs> yeah. in South Africa. No, but it, it, like truly speaking, not everyone wants to be a trader worldwide. Some people really just want to put money away. Like diversification for some people, yeah, yeah. they've got they've got a little bit of extra cash they want to put away somewhere. And they don't want to trade. They want to learn how to trade. Learning how to trade is hard. It's mm. very long. Mm. It's a tedious process. Yeah. And people don't want to talk about that. You know, learning how to trade, it takes time, guys. Yeah, sure. It's like going to get a degree. And some people sometimes have the funds but don't want to learn. And now this this whole business model right now of people just being connected with investors right now. Mm. So you'll be trading an investor's capital right there. It's just the same as a prop firm model. Yeah. You know, it's just slightly different as to the, the selection process of it. Yeah. Or even if you have uh, very, very well off friends. Um, <laughs> yeah. hey, people do people yeah. do message you and be like, listen, yeah. can I see your record? And uh, yeah. um, can I manage? Yeah. Well, but can you manage my funds? <laughs> yeah, but it's always hard. But that's a yeah. good thing. Yeah. You know, he mentioned keyword thing, mm. record, yeah. track record. Sure. thing is some guys want to bring a uh, two months... Mm. Yeah, I flipped an account two months there. Yeah, it's like where's yeah. the where's the risk management? Yeah, but the things with friends, at times it depends on the type of friends you have. Yeah, because some they they can become a problem to you, <laughs> with even with a good track record. Yeah, um, because you find that there's no contract obviously in place. Yeah, the contract is a like you say it's a tricky one. <laughs> it's a tricky one because <laughs> you're not licensed first of all. Exactly. <laughs> that's that's what I want to say. Yeah, <laughs> so. So, so at times it can be you know tough. I mean, you're sitting with your friends like, ah, I wish, I wish I could just take a bit of my money and just buy this. Yeah. 
uh, but I know I've got my money with you. And by the time, you know, you're not doing well with this account. Yeah. But when you look at these companies as well, I know APSA was looking for traders a month ago. Okay. Yeah, I was looking for traders. And some of these companies are willing to even give you the education. Sure. They give you the education and exactly. you become their trader. You know, they just want to see how dedicated you are. Yeah. And I don't think it's bad. I mean, we were just talking about 75K a month. Mm -hmm. Imagine you are getting that 35K yeah. um, a month. And apparently you don't even have to report to work every day. Sometimes you can work from home. And Life you know, of a trader. <laughs> nine to five is not bad as long as you have a plan. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, I don't want to say we're inspired by nonsense. But the thing is... <laughs> Okay, let me say it. We, we, we get inspired by nonsense because the things we, we, we read someone's story online that I quit my job. Yeah. And I became a trader. Yeah. And now I'm a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? And maybe at some point it worked for this particular individual. Mm. You know, not, not all of us. I mean, I know it didn't work for me. <laughs> I wanted to go back yeah. to nine, to yeah, five. Yeah, yeah. Funny how you say that um, on YouTube, okay. the, the current, well, in my well, feed, it yeah. is the cover of a trading thing would be quit your nine to five. <laughs> 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 and, hey, people click. Those, those links have clicks. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. People want to know, okay, yeah. I want to come on nine to five and yeah. that's luring the clients. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone wants to leave the system somehow, you know, leaving the system. <sighs> it's hard yeah. to leave the system. <laughs> But you know how many people are making money within this nine to five these days? Yeah, no, people are, people make money. I mean, go to Santon right now. Uh, you tell me, okay, we live in South Africa, but a lot of you know Santon right now. Uh, you look at the amount, the cars that are being driven in Santon, particularly so. Mm. You know, a nine to five, there's nothing wrong with a nine to five because you find that a lot of those people are working nine to five jobs and you know, you'll, f you'll see a, a car, let's say, People are driving Porsches, mm. uh, Lambos, things like that. Casually, so yeah. And you, if you think about the the when you go for financing for a car like that, you're paying like forty, fifty thousand rand a month. Mm. And you think about this, like, hey, that person's working a nine to five. It's like, hey, clearly they must be getting paid. So it's not all that bad. Yes, I understand nine to five. The one that people are talking about is the retail level. Mm. You know, I understand it gets frustrating working in a call center doing, but mm. you got to do what you got to do to get where you need exactly, to go. Exactly. Exactly. Some people's um, salaries yeah. of nine to five. Yeah. They are like accelerated programs from this. <laughs> you find that somebody's earning ten thousand dollars a month, yeah, and that's the money that you're looking for to 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 pass a challenge, you know. Did he? Have you ever worked a nine to five? Yeah, I have. Right? <laughs> you don't look like the type that has worked for nine. Looks to like five. he's been sitting everyone, behind the charts the whole time. Yeah, everyone starts from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but how was your experience? You wanna come in, ghost? How long did it take you to become a stable trader? Um, this is this is about my fifth, fifth, sixth year in trading. I will be honest. Uh, I know some people advertise advertise that in a way trading is the only study that you do that you earn from day one. Yeah. But trading is also the only course that you need to learn from losing money. Mm. <laughs> so um, the first two years was rough. You struggle to to stick to one specific style. And then within mm. the third year or so, you start to uh, realize that, you know, if you just keep it simple and you stick to one thing mm. and you push through and find consistency in that, you'll make it. And so three, four, going out from there, you know, you start to find your own cookie cutter. Mm. First two years, it's rough. You know, like if it doesn't work, you want to go to a different mentor, you want to try to study a new course. But like I said earlier, you know, everything works. Just you got to push through and mm. make sure that strategy works for you. Yeah. And when did you quit your 9 to 5? Yeah, of course. Um, Was it before or after you started trading? After. After, definitely. Oh, yeah. I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> fear, so, can, fear can be yeah, a good thing a, sometimes. It's a tough mm. Fear can be a good thing mm. sometimes. Mm. But also, like, if you think about mm. it... Um, Obviously, trading is 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 it's nice. It's it's freedom. We're yeah. basically doing the job sure, for freedom. Definitely. But what with what you said, nine to five isn't bad. So now, if you are someone who is doing a proper yeah. nine to five, trading doesn't take time. I mean, you can trade one session a day. I mean, exactly. you can you can earn double income. Yeah, you yeah. can make seventy five plus whatever you're getting paid on nine <laughs> yeah, to five. Sure. Yeah, I yeah. mean, that's just vacation money. <laughs> <laughs> 
yeah. yeah. Oh, so you so you did work a nine to five. Yeah, you gotta go through the <coughs> gotta, gotta yeah. go through the mud first. Yeah. Mm. Okay, now nah, that's great. Especially if you're working from home. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you know how many people have nine to five and they basically do nothing at home? Mm. Yeah, yeah no. do nothing. They just answer emails. Yeah. Um, in the morning, maybe around twelve, we watch Netflix until they knock off. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I want that job. <laughs> yeah. So why wouldn't you take the other time to to learn a skill about trading? But yeah. don't quit as yet when it comes to your job. Yeah. Try to see if you can do it both. I mm. always tell people if if you don't have a plan about nine to five, then it's just going to be tough for you to enter in. Because think th- think of it this way. Um, our industry is one of the most unpredictable industries yeah. there is, yeah. and sometimes. Um, you wouldn't have a payout if yeah. you are funded. Sometimes you wouldn't have a withdrawal mm. because we trade market conditions. At times your setup is not coming mm. for two weeks, for three weeks. Your setup is not there. Already you have established a lifestyle. So it's either you, you get into nine to five or look for another business. Mm. Have another business on the side so yeah. that when you ha- don't have those withdrawals, you know that you can pay bills with this business. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I've got, I've got one more question. <coughs> Have you ever been blocked from getting a payout? Um, no, I haven't. Sure. Hey. No, no, I haven't. No. <laughs> Are you glad? <laughs> the prop firms must really like you. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> no, um, I've had, I've, I have had unlucky ones. Uh, <laughs> finding talent, MFF. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was VIP with MFF. So that's 90, 90, 90 10 split. You okay. get 90. Yeah, and it's any time withdrawal. It's just yeah. a click of a button. Yeah. yeah, that was nice, but oh, they're gone now. <laughs> <laughs> are, they, are they gone? Yeah, no, I, 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 they're not coming back. <laughs> no, it's over. It's chai. It's over, ne? Yeah. In terms of regulations, do you have mm. any? Uh, do you have a, your two cents on that? Uh, regulations for prop firms. All right. Look. So all the prop firms, uh, the funds mm. are virtual. Mm. You would know, like yeah, you, sure. you, you don't get. Um, the real funds. Mm. Uh, obviously, it's since MFF. I don't know if you have noticed. Most of the firms now are advertising virtual account. Yes, to uh, save to save is, themselves. There's also another mm. term they're using as well. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, it'll come mm. to me. Yeah, yeah. Just to say that I'm not giving you real money. Yeah, but it's money. <laughs> <laughs> so are people actually trading the live markets if it's like that? Though. Yeah, so it depends. So, like I said. Uh, Depends the broker that they use, mm-hmm. uh, A book or B book. Mm. Uh, MFF used the B book, yeah. So, mm-hmm. so um, you know they they completely just take all the feed. Yeah. Mm. That's where they got wrong. They use their own in house brokerage and all that. It's too too scammy. Let's mm. say it that way. Yeah, mm. yeah there, there's no um, official regulations, as in that I know of, that we can cross reference to see if they're legitimate. But uh, you're just gonna have to. I mean, every firm has good reviews. Every firm has bad reviews. Yeah, that's true. I mean, MFF before I joined, they had bad reviews saying mm. people don't they don't pay me yeah. and all that. But mm. you know, they 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 paid me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's it's all about the experience. Mm. Um, but yeah, definitely, like I said, USA, Canada, uh, UK. Just be do do extra research with them. Mm-hmm. You know, and don't go with the new firms. Even if they lure you in with the cheap, the cheap, cheap fees, mm. you know, mm. like you might not get that back. Yeah, sure. Yo, Lee, you've mm. said a lot. Uh, Lee, so I like your surname a lot. There's only mm. three letters, but the, yo, it, it Lee Lu, <laughs> right? Yeah, Lee Lu. there you go. You got oh, it right. Lee Lu, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, simple. Uh, now I know. <laughs> no, thank you so much for coming out. Uh, before you go, just give some word of advice to guys who are trying to really get into. Uh, this prop firm mm. uh, game, yeah. Hundred. Okay, so um, look, like even if you are f- someone who's failing the challenges, and if you're failing your funded accounts, that does not make you a bad trader, right? Mm. So um, you know, traders have bad months. Traders have very good months. Uh, from experience, I've had. If you have a bad month, I've had two months where I didn't get payout because I'm negative. Mm. And I just mm. don't find what I want, but. Sure. I start my account. Mm. So keep doing what you're doing and keep doing what you found that was right and just push through and wait for the, the market condition to, to be in your favor. Yeah. So like, and then what also helps me sometimes is if you just block out the noise a little bit. Mm. You know, like, like that. Yeah. 
Like that. So that you don't get excited from seeing someone else trading, mm. someone else getting a big payout. I mean, that is their journey. You have your own mm. journey to go to. Yeah. So yeah, that's why just, just be patient with yourself. And, you know, every strategy works in its own mm. ways. Just mm. be good at it. It's almost like um, don't be a jack of all trades. Just mm. be a king of one trade. Yeah. And be good at that and you'll push through. Yeah. yeah. 100%. 100%. Sure. No, like thank that. you so much for coming out. I appreciate your time that you've taken out of your day just to come here and talk. And I think this is definitely f- going to be fruitful too. And I learned a lot today. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm still hacked about yeah. the whole prop firm saying they don't want to pay out for whatever reasons, but it's fine. <laughs> you still <laughs> going for it? Huh? You no, 100%. Going? Uh, yeah. You know, uh, it's just about managing risk yeah, at the end sure. of the day and not risk on the charts. <laughs> Risk in life, and Jay, you know, yeah. just managing your own risk in, in your own life. That's literally all it is exactly. at the end of the day. You know, you don't have to manage. It's guys, when you're talking about risk management, it's not just about the charts. Yeah, it's mm. everywhere. It's Even a- with your nine to five, <laughs> who told you they're gonna pay you money? <laughs> <then>? <laughs> What if on the 25th they say there's no money? Yeah, it's they, a risk. <laughs> you work for 25 days and you get nothing. But, but even then, the risk is managed because you it's know even worse they, they're obliged to pay you. Exactly. There's even insurance and whatnot that uh-huh. comes into you, that kicks in, you understand? Yeah. So Risk is everywhere, guys. <laughs> I mean, from we, we, we in Pretoria there, municipal uh, workers are not have not been paid for months now. Yeah. You're from Victoria? Yeah, I am. Oh, same, same. Oh, We're yeah. from the same area. Yes, yeah. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Man. No, welcome. <laughs> Where's PA? PA? PTA? I'm uh, close to Olympus, Silver Lake. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. Now, I could tell you from Victoria. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With your knowledge, I could tell you from Victoria. Oh, no. <laughs> I could tell. I like this one. Because <laughs> they, they, they always gang up on me, like, you know, Pretoria guys are always going this. <laughs> nah, but you nah, know, nah. You, we, we produce. We produce in Pretoria. Pretoria. <laughs> Nah, yeah. that's okay. I feel lonely today, but it's fine. I got you guys here. My home is YouTube, guys. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lee, thank you so much for coming out. Um, yeah, and like I said, I learned a whole lot today. Mm, I hope you guys did. And guys, thank you for the love that you guys continue to show us. We love you guys. We are who we are because of you guys, and you guys keep watching. And guys, we are on the road to 100K subscribers. Yeah. That's where we are going. Nice. We celebrated 70 today, or was it yesterday? 70 mm. today. But we're here and we're going to keep it moving forward. Thank you guys so much. It's Mobit Sambani. I'm sitting with MJ Givens Kasi. And we've got here Lee Liu. Thank you very much. Lee Liu. Yeah, thank you so, guys. Ah, and I've got Ghost in the building. Mm. Ghosty. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get used to it. Yes. Like, yes, you need to come sit here and then we must see you properly, yeah. actually. Yeah. And by the way, guys, Ghost doesn't have a chair. And I don't know why she doesn't want to sit uh, down. Now we're going to get a chair next week. No, we should. Yeah. I, why are you not sitting down, Ghost? Oh, yes. I'm going to put you on the spot right here. Yeah. Hey, yeah let, let me put him on the spot. Yeah. So next week, we're having a round table. I know I already asked you before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, next, next week, there's the, are, are you, would you be uh, keen to come back down this side? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At the same time, man. Just give me week. some some details. Yeah, no, yeah. 100%. We've well, got a round table about prop firms. In, we're going to be, and I think right now, guys, we've been talking about prop firms. So, like, yeah, no, no, we want to just wrap it up now mm. and be like, you know what? Because, guys, there's still breaks. There's, oh, there's a whole lot of other financial uh, yeah. things that we need to get into. Mm. You know, we can't just camp, camp on prop firms. And as much as prop firms are what's hot right now, but there's so many other things. We, we also have a lady who's going to come talk about tax. You, you know, all those guys, other things. So we really want to wrap up wrap up the conversation next week. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm putting you on the spot. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. Right there. Yeah. You're right there. Yeah, no, but we'll definitely talk about it off air and hopefully you'll yeah. be here. Uh, yeah, it's going to be like you and two other guys and myself, MJ as well. Prop firm owners, right? Yeah, owners. We, we're having prop firm owners <laughs> next week. Yeah, yeah uh, we, we, we're from the Pretoria. <laughs> yeah. <Pretoria's fun. laughs> no, yeah. guys, thank you guys so much. Uh, thank you so much, industry players, for watching. We'll see you guys same time, same place.